How you guys doing? This is Derek with Dolan Woodworking. Today in this video, I'm going to be reviewing some interesting things I got on Timu, Temu, however you want to pronounce it. It's the website that seems like Amazon and Wish came together and made a website baby. And that is what I would refer to as Timu. So let's explore some of this stuff. The first thing I ordered and got in was this, which I thought was kind of cool. It is a little square. Um, you know, there's a bunch of different uh, brands that make this. My only real regret when I ordered it is I didn't realize I ordered it in like millimeters, centimeters, whatever it is. I don't even know what it is because I don't use those. Um, but they do actually have one on there in inches. So kind of regret not ordering that one, but I don't know if that's clear or not. But yeah, so it, it looks pretty decent. Honestly, it, uh, feels like it's made out of, you know, solid aluminum, you know, seems well made. It came in two different pieces. You had to put the, uh, little Allen screws in to hold it together. Uh, let me grab a square and let's see if it's accurate. So let's let's see if this is accurate. So let's put it like this. Let's put a fine pencil line across. And then let's see how this square compares to it. So it it looks the same. It looks like it's accurate. I'm kind of surprised because I wasn't really expecting much from this. You know, this just kind of looked cool. You know, you can mark your 45 with that. Um, so yeah, I mean, it, it seems pretty decent. It's nice and small. It seems pretty sturdy. This I'd say is probably one of the better things from what I ordered. I opened these up. I didn't really, I have not used any of these yet. I don't even remember what's in this box. Uh, okay, so the, yeah, this is the the small hand or micro plane, however you want to call it. So, I don't know, let's see. I grabbed some clamps because I'm assuming it'd be much easier if it was clamped to kind of try this stuff out. Just have some scrap. I don't even know what it's set to. So it is actually giving me some, some shavings. I don't know how to set it to different setting. I guess I should probably find that out. Okay, so that loosens up there. The blade moves in and out. Okay, so. Kind of just got to play with different pieces and see. It seems like it wants to, but I honestly don't think it's sharp enough. Because when I'm doing this, like, I feel like it should want to cut my finger, but it's not. I did order extra blades for it. Just kidding. These extra blades go to that. There's no extra blades for this. Scratch that. So you can see that it's like, it's starting to come up like it wants to, it wants to go, but it also doesn't at the same time. I don't know what this, is that just a little handle? I guess that's just a little handle. You could definitely tell the quality of this isn't very great. Um, but yeah, that's something. I wanna say this was maybe like six or seven dollars or Something like that. Honestly, looking at Timu, however you want to pronounce it, it's kind of intriguing looking at how cheap the stuff is. It's kind of tempting to like order a bunch of stuff and see how they are. Let's try this thing out. Obviously, I have not opened this up yet. See, that, that seems a little sharper. Yeah, 
this up blade a little bit here. Not actually sure how you're supposed to do this. It doesn't really make any sense. Let me get a Phillips head screwdriver. Not sure if I'm supposed to loosen this up before you adjust it. Well, that definitely made it so I can adjust it. This whole thing is kind of confusing. I'm not sure how. Okay, so now it's sticking down. That was actually really sharp. Well, you're getting something. It's, it's doing something. I mean, did more than that thing. I want to say it's a lot sharper and the blades actually, obviously you can see these blades, these are actually like decent sized blades. So it seems like it actually, I don't want to say it's doing a good job, but it's working. So let's, let's say that, which isn't all that difficult when it's just kind of like a blade on an angle, but it worked. So can't really complain about that. Um, this piece is kind of trashed for the next part that we will demo. Let's put this one here. All right, so now for the last tool that I got off Timu is for this one. And now I'm gonna struggle opening the box. There we go. All right, comes with three different ones. There's one also in it, but it is a corner plane. Now, did not try this yet, did open it up. Now, I think it's Jorgensen makes one that's like orange and it's similar to this. Um, yeah, let's give it a try. What comes in it is just a 45. So, I don't know this. It worked. I might have done it a little too deep for the first try. So I feel like you don't want to take all that much off when you go down. I feel like it's also important that you stay square to the corner. I actually did a pretty good job. It was relatively consistent. Um, I'm not sure how to change the blade or how easy it is to change the blade, but it comes with that. Well, originally they showed it at like $3 or something super cheap. And I was like, no way. I was like, that's crazy. Let me purchase one of those. <clears throat> and I went in there and I think it was like three bucks for like the blades or one blade or two or three blades or whatever. The whole thing in seven blades, I think it was like 30 something dollars. And I was like, I don't want to spend that much on something from Timu or something from a website called Timu. <coughs> so I purchased the one that was just the tool and it came with three blades. And I want to say it was like $15. So, but I really like if I'm going to get it, I kind of want the corner rounding abilities. So let's see how this works. If this is how you actually change the blade out. If you have to take this whole thing apart, that's gonna honestly be really annoying. Yeah, you know, I feel like you, I feel like this is how you do it, yeah. Comes out, so there's a eighth, three sixteenths, and I'm assuming quarter, yeah, it's a quarter. <clears throat> so let's do the eighth. If you're looking for something that is like a super small, super fine round over, you would probably be wanting something like eighth, um, or maybe even smaller if they had one, but I don't think they do. The other ones they had were these weird, like, 
it was like not even like a regular round over. It was like this. And I don't know what you would really use that for. I don't think I would ever use that for anything, but hence why I did not pick that one. So let's try this out. Let's see. Can't possibly get all the way in yet. All the way in. I feel like I need to go up higher. That's not. I feel like that's not down enough. I feel like that's going to be too big of a round over. Don't mind me. I think I just did all of that and put it in backwards. So. Don't mind me while I sit here and unscrew this all the way back out and then put it all the way back in. I can see myself using probably mostly the 45. Um, maybe this one too. I don't know. I guess I really want to see how well it does. I really just have no idea what to expect with this. I, I actually haven't really used much of these in general. A lot of our cornering that we use uh, or would do, I honestly just do with a sander. Oh, that went a lot quicker than I thought. So, okay. That's, that's really cutting in. So let's go smaller. actually not bad it's you can definitely tell this is this is soft maple um i was kind of going the wrong way It'd probably come out better if i went this way maybe it wouldn't i don't know let's try it a little smaller And just take off a little bit of that edge. Can't really tell a ton there because I had already done the 45 on that corner. I mean, that didn't come out too bad. I just feel like it's not consistent, but. I have never really used one of these in general, so maybe that's just what it comes out to be, and you just need to sand it and make it consistent. Typically, I can make something pretty consistent with a sander. But honestly, I'm not... I'm not actually that upset about this one. Set to that, I feel like that's actually doing a pretty decent job. I know I'm probably not doing it right, because obviously you don't do it up in the air like that, but with a little piece like this, it's not secured to anything. Um, so that one wasn't bad. Altogether, on all these tools, I probably wouldn't recommend any of these. Uh, if you're getting into, you know, maybe you're just a DIYer or something like that, you know, maybe something like this wouldn't be bad. It didn't do too bad of a job at what I just did there. As long as you hit it with some sandpaper afterwards. Or this. I don't think this is too bad. You know, I just make sure and confirm that it's square. Check your 45. All of that, that it's going to be good. I I would not recommend this. This little hand planer. Uh, you know, maybe there's better ones on there. But I don't think this did a very good job. Um, and this, I mean... It's kind of so-so. The quality is not all that great. You can definitely tell it's just like, obviously just a piece of metal that's just been painted, which it's got like some rough stuff on the bottom. It's not like dead smooth. I don't know. I, I don't think I'd really recommend this either, but this I feel like not every woodworker would use. It's kind of those unique scenarios. Um, even this, like I've never really found a need to use one of these because we have a Powermatic joiner. So for me to use this would be going back like a hundred years. Um, 
But altogether, I mean, it was kind of cool to explore some Timu woodworking purchases and to see what they have to offer. Um, if you're getting into and want to do a lot of high quality woodworking, I would not recommend going and shopping there. Uh, if you want to take a look at some of my other videos, I've reviewed some stuff that I've purchased off Amazon. Now, it is not like similar stuff to this. It is like a cabinet mounting, a cabinet door mounting jig and uh, a track saw square, you know, stuff like that. So check those out altogether. I don't think I'd recommend this stuff except maybe these two things if you're not, you know, maybe if you're just a DIYer, you know, so thanks for joining us today. Uh, please like and subscribe.